You are looking live at Wall to Wall Sunshine as viewed by our Carter Mount weather camera over Charlottesville and Central Virginia all the way to the Blue Ridge Mountains. Picture perfect visibility at that vantage point. Hello, I'm 29 First Alert to Meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. What you see is what you get for the rest of today and also for the next few days. Some sunshine and a warming trend. That is the next big thing I'm tracking here in the Weather Center. In fact, by Halloween, we're talking about near record breaking warmth. The forecast high for Charlottesville is 80 degrees. Degrees. That is about 15 degrees warmer than average for this time of the year. The record high, by the way, is 82 degrees. A cold front will arrive here on, on Friday morning, bringing us some cooler conditions as we head into the first weekend of November. Check out this October sky. Great snapshot uh, coming to us from Warren in the Jolly View area of Augusta County outside of Stanton, showing the few clouds overhead, making for that picturesque sunrise. And the trees are at peak over the portions of the central and southern Blue Ridge into the Shenandoah Valley. Enjoy the fall color while it lasts because once those trees go peak, they're going to lose their leaves rapidly because of the severe summer drought we had. There's the view at the top of wintergreen starting now to go past peak fall color now in central Virginia, Charlottesville over the next few days into the weekend. We will be at peak fall foliage and then past peak conditions area wide as we head into the first part of November. So in that first forecast for today, sunshiny blue skies, a couple of high level cirrus clouds by the end of the day, and we should see daytime highs in the 60s, and that's right on target here at the end of October. Right now, your lunchtime numbers in the 50s and uh, low 60s, and we're going to come up a few more degrees over the next few hours. 29 first alert Doppler is dry. There's a live view in Stanton and Harrisonburg. That's Harrisonburg along ID1. We're seeing some nice fall color at that vantage point along ID1 into the JMU area. Big picture shows high High pressure is large and in charge, blocking any rain from impacting our weather. Just a few high level cirrus clouds that will impact our sunset. Nice sunset as we head towards the six o'clock hour, by the way. Our next weather player is in the Pacific Northwest. It'll come here with a little fanfare on Friday morning. Until then, a few passing high clouds tonight into tomorrow morning. More in the way of sunshine and some high level clouds on Tuesday, but staying dry. There's Tuesday morning. Here's Tuesday afternoon. Lots of sunshine, mainly clear conditions into Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday with that warming trend upper 70s Wednesday 80 on Halloween and then we're coming down the, in the temperatures on Friday and especially the weekend with highs more seasonable in the 60s before a warm up in time for Election Day next Tuesday. But we're mainly dry slight shower chance Friday, mainly in the morning dry this weekend and even into next week. There's Election Day Tuesday highs will be in the 70s and also staying dry. That's the early call in your 29 first alert forecast today. Sunshine, blue skies, high seasonable in the 60s. A light southeast breeze tonight. A couple of passing clouds, but not as cold. Not expecting widespread frost in the low to mid 40s. Tomorrow's forecast a little bit milder in the lower 70s. Sunshine, a few high level clouds. Seven day forecast shapes up like this. Near 50 tomorrow night, almost 80 on Wednesday and Thursday. So you don't need the coat over those costumes on trick or treat. It'll be in the 70s and 60s for trick or treaters in the mid 70s on Friday and then 60s for the upcoming weekend. 